Hi, I'm Man Hermes! Because I'm in transition. And we have a couple new treats for you today. This is a nice little coffee and donuts episode because we have some Gevalia Cafe and it's this it's mocha. And we got another one here and it's a vanilla. And then we get here, and my, my lovely Shauna, ladies and gentlemen. And we have some cat's gluten free donuts. Your coffees yeah. are sweating on me. That, oh, they're perspiring, yeah. They're sexy coffees. Yes, that's it. they're so hot, they're sweating. <laughs> and it's... Remember how I had that one gluten-infested episode? Well, this... This doesn't have gluten in it. So this is going to be right up our alleys. So the lovely Hashana, ladies and gentlemen, will be able to have these donuts. So okay, well, uh, what should we start with? Should we start with one of the coffees? Probably. Okay, yeah, let's wet our whistles a little bit here. Mocha. Mocha. Okay, let's start with the mocha one. It says artificially flavored. Uh, con okay, so it contains almond and soy, although I'm not seeing any other real allergens. Okay, yeah, so I mean, that seems to be a thing where it's just the almond and the soy. Obviously, you don't want it if you have a nut allergy, because they use almond milk, which uh, is fantastic. It's actually a good nutritional profile. Vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. Iron. Pretty good. I'm excited. Check out <laughs> the back of it. Yee. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. It has stats. Yeah. There you go. Alright, so. Let's pop this baby open. Oh, oh it says shake well. Oh, we forgot to do that. I'm excited though. Now, read the directions, even if you don't follow them. There we go. Actually, that smells really good. It smells nice and sweet. It doesn't smell like it's just a bland coffee. Uh, coffee. <laughs> well, we have one vote definitely over here. Coffee okay. addict. Now, I don't, I don't really know my coffees. So, when it says mocha, I don't know what that means. It's uh, chocolate. Why doesn't it just say chocolate? I know what that is. I know it's whatever. So let's let's give this a try. And see how it, how it pans out. It's smooth. It's smooth. It's it's milkyish. It's chocolate, huh? That's actually not bad. If there is a chocolate there, it's a very undertone. At least that's what I feel about that. It's not dark chocolate either. It tastes like it would be like a milk chocolate. Okay, again, we have we have one vote here. This isn't bad. It's good. Uh, again, not really a coffee guy, but I can say with honesty that this actually isn't bad. And if I felt like it, I'd probably just finish the whole carton. Yeah, it... I, I was going to say, it's actually, yeah, it actually is pretty good. I, I can't say much else about that. I'm bad at these things. I, I'm sorry. Here's the lid. And we have the other one here, too. We have the van uh, vanilla. Let's see if more of the nutty flavor comes through with the vanilla. It seems to have the same nutritional profile. Again, vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, vitamin E. A little bit of iron. Same thing about the almond and soy. So I'm curious to see if, because this one, if this one was supposed to be chocolate, that one's going to be vanilla. I'm actually wondering how much of the vanilla is going to be there. If it's just an undertone or if it's actually going to be prominent. Thank you for shaking it. You're welcome. Appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Ooh. That almost smells like a, like a vanilla candy, almost like a vanilla toffee. Uh-huh. Well, the, okay, the vanilla smell is strong in this one. It, did, it didn't smell much like a coffee. It, re, it really did smell it more. It smells like a coffee shot pound cake. Coffee shot pound cake. That's kind of an appropriate reaction. Are you, are you okay? You're, oh, you're just drinking more? Give me that. <laughs> 
hog it all for yourself. Mm -hmm. How are we supposed to progress on the, if you're taking it all? Dibs. It just, you Maybe know. You just dipped your nose in it. I, That's sexy. It really does. <laughs> it really does smell like. <laughs> it really does smell like a cake. You, you actually kind of got that. I can mm -hmm. smell that cakey like ness in it, the sweetness, and I'm gonna give this a try. It was a tad weird after the mocha, but. Yeah, you know, taste-wise, it's very similar to the mocha in that the vanilla is an undertone, but the coffee's a bit more prominent. That kind of stinks, I'm not going to lie. I was hoping that it would actually taste kind of like that vanilla cakey kind of flavor. It tastes like candy. It's... What, uh, uh, I guess that might be subject to tastes, because again, it was kind of like, I can taste the vanilla in it. it. It's not like there was a lot in it, but it was there, it was noticeable. It's not like it was a hidden... Like, remember that hint? We did the hint flavor, that, like that was just disgusting because it was water that was lying about being fruit flavor. Yeah, vaguely. Yeah, these are actually not bad. Switch. Change places. There you go, yeah. You know, weirdly, after the vanilla, the chocolate tastes better. <laughs> it's like some of the coffee flavor just went away. Good, and that one's yours. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I can I can vouch for that. Mm -hmm. So okay, we've had ourselves a little something to wet our whistles. Let's have something to fill our billies. We got the donuts. And You're totally holding it on the wrong side. I am holding it on the wrong <laughs> side. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, for holding it on the wrong side. Let's see, these uh okay, I got ten percent vitamin A, two percent calcium, two percent iron. Not much else. A lot of saturated fat. This is my baby. How do we know? We, we haven't even had them yet. Get ready for fall. These are the pumpkin spice ones. Yeah. Because pumpkin spice gluten-free donuts. Do you see the beauty of these donuts? Mm-hmm. And sounds this like cute, a cute little lady on there. Yeah, that definitely, uh, definitely sounds oh. like... Oh, and excuse me. Check how Jewish it is. It's legit. Yeah. Wait, how Jewish is it? Very Jewish. Look at the label in Hebrew. Oh, son of a bitch. You know, because... Okay, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but that's Hebrew. Yeah. Check that out. That's how you know they're serious about their pumpkin spice. After all, Rosh Hashanah is coming up in October this year. It is. That's right. To all of you out there, are you going to be celebrating? Vote now. <laughs> I don't know how those things work. It, it's YouTube, but... Oh, yeah, there you go. Come in a nice little pack like that. Nice six donuts in there. You can you can see the glaze where it stopped whenever it solidified going down the donut. So, okay, let's open this puppy up and give him a shot, huh? This excites me. Oh, wow, that's spicy. That smells like a pumpkin pie. <gasps> it, has the, it has the pumpkin pie kind of smell with the cinnamon and the nutmeg, like that's what it smells like. Actually, wait. Okay, it's got the gluten-free starches, uh, water, palm oil, confection sugar, pumpkin sugar, eggs, brown sugar. <laughs> Noticing a pattern here. There's only nine <laughs> grams of sugar per donut though, so. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a little, even though there's different kinds of it in there. Canola oil, baking powder, vanilla, xanthan gum, Agar, agar, agar. <laughs> calcium carbonate, calcium sulfate, cinnamon, there you go, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, cloves, mace. And allspice. These old ladies ain't fucking around. <laughs> and yeah, allspice. So, and it says contains eggs. So if you've got an egg allergy, steer clear of these. If you don't have an egg allergy, well, good for you. All right, you're going to have some donuts. So again, they smell like freaking pumpkin pie. I just want to like tower them on top of each other and eat the whole thing and be like, ha, ah, I will devour you. Like a, like a big cake. Kind of slimy. The top part, it's, it, the sugar part, it's like really slimy. That's because we just took it out of the freezer. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. We did just get it out of the freezer. So okay. Toast. Toast.
If it seems like I'm taking a while to reach a conclusion, it's because I'm looking for the mace. <laughs> I'm not detecting any mace. Because <laughs> my mouth is not on fire. <laughs> it's good though. It tastes like you, like if you were to go to a, your local supermarket, and if you go and you find yourself a nice pumpkin pie, you know, in the container with the clear plastic lid, you pop that open, you cut yourself a nice slice of pie, you take the first bite, that's what this tastes like. It's got like this perfect blend of spices, and it tastes like a store-bought pumpkin pie. But it's a donut. <laughs> this is awesome. I am so happy right now. <laughs> These exist. I mean, I hate to come across as a basic bitch, but I mean, I can see myself eating you. Like a lot. Totally shameless right now. Mm. I'll mm. eat this wait. whole package. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. I got an idea. It's a coffee donuts. I'm gonna take a bite. I'm gonna chew it a bit, and I'm gonna wash it down with the coffee. You're gonna see how that tastes. Mm -hmm. This is the mocha one, so this is gonna be the chocolate. No. Yeah, that's good together. Yeah, that is good. That's actually really good with the donut. <laughs> Bizarrely enough, that's it's actually better that way. I don't taste as much of the coffee. I taste much more of the chocolate that way. How is it with the vanilla? Does it is, is it kind of the same thing? It's better. Okay, yeah, let, me, let me sneak up the flavor of that. If you want to try the mocha. And by the way, one day I will win you over to coffee. There's no one in the right mind who doesn't like coffee. Tune in next week, folks, when we see how far along Hishana gets in her, in her struggle in coffeeism. That does not count as an addiction. <laughs> yeah, it, it's better with the donut. It, it has a better flavor if it has something to back it. This is strong enough to help mask the coffee flavor of the, of the Gavalia. It's not good with the mocha. Not good. I thought I, it wasn't bad with the mocha. I liked it with the vanilla. Give me uh, my vanilla. You can, you can have the vanilla. Here's, here's your <laughs> lid. There you go. So yeah, that's actually not bad. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my donut back in there. Because lastly, I'm gonna actually lick off my fingers here first. Mm -hmm. Now we have a treat for you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure I got each of my fingers OCD clean now. We actually have a treat for you that's a bit of a blast from the past. We managed to get our hands on some Crystal Pepsi. <laughs> Motherfucking Crystal Pepsi. I have never had Crystal Pepsi before. But in my past I've tried many kinds of, of Pepsi, except those, those Japanese ones. I haven't gotten to try those ones yet. But I'm pretty sure that this and Pepsi Blue are like the only flavors I haven't gotten to try yet. I've tried all the other kinds of Pepsi. So this is a nice treat for me because Pepsi was nice enough to bring back a flavor just for me. And all the other people who, who cried for blood when they stopped making Crystal Pepsi. <laughs> I didn't even know this existed. <laughs> it says clear cola. <laughs> it's a clear cola. <laughs> So what do we have here? Oh god. It has a lot of carbs, holy shit. Tw one, the whole bottle has 23% of carbohydrates. If you're diabetic, please don't drink this. There's 69 grams of sugar. Six, ah. In one bottle, 69 grams of right. sugar. Did I mention I don't drink soda? <laughs> okay. And we're not really soda people, and I mean, I've, I've tried it, but I've tried those before, but I really liked a lot of them. This is so sexy. It has uh, some nice phosphoric acid for my low stomach acid issue. Mm, it's gonna help tasty. me help me digest my weird gluten free lasagna. Of we already course, ate, by the way. High fructose corn syrup, citric acid, sodium benzoate, mm, sodium citrate, caffeine. Caffeine. It's got caffeine. 
Did this have caffeine no, in no, it? No, no, no. Caffeine. <laughs> caffeine. <laughs> the freaking coffee did not have caffeine in it. The Gavalia coffees did not have caffeine in them. Yes, they do. They have 160 milligrams of caffeine what? per a carton. That's like... Why is it listed on here? It is. No, I mean like in the ingredients. That's not ingredient. <laughs> it's not listed in... Okay, because you know how they say in the nutrition facts when it has in the ingredient list? The caffeine's not actually listed there. It's listed don't, elsewhere don't on listen, the carton. Don't listen to Man Hermes today. He's not a coffee drinker. He doesn't realize that all coffee is caffeinated. I'm in transition. if it says decaf, which it does not. And uh, 160 milligrams of caffeine is twice the uh, normal dosage of caffeine for... Uh, an eight-ounce serving of coffee. Oh dang, I didn't know that. No, you do. So this has... I, oh, here we go. This only has 63 milligrams of caffeine per... Tw for 24 ounces? Yeah. How many are in there? Well, this is a 24 ounce. It's a 20, ounce okay. So. Anyway, there's also gum arabic, natural flavor. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's in that, but, you know, Let's hope it won't kill me. <laughs> because unless it specifies gluten-free, natural flavor can be anything. It's okay. If I get gluten, I'll probably come after him with an axe. Just kidding. Tune in next week, folks, when you <laughs> try to conduct me with an axe. It's okay. Let's pop this sucker open. Ooh, there we go. I feel so excited for you. The That's long, how you know it's fresh. The long-awaited... So there you go, folks. Proof that this is not just a bottle I filled with water or crap. Okay, you gotta smell it first. Oh, wow, it actually it smells... Like it's, it just smells like a sweet Pepsi. It, it doesn't actually smell like mm. like anything different than that. It, it holds the flavor. You know what it smells like to me? Kind of like a Sprite, maybe? Yeah! I was just gonna say that. It totally smells like a Sprite or a Sierra Mist. It smells like a Sprite. Like that. You know, it's probably because they don't have the caramel coloring in this. And the caramel coloring totally absorbs like every other flavor in it whenever you drink a regular Pepsi. Really? It just tastes like caramel color to me. I don't know about that. Weirdly enough, I'm actually not allergic to caramel color. I don't really smell any citrus in it though. So that's probably where a lot of that comes in. I don't know. Sprite smells citrusy to me. It's okay. Yeah. Well, down the hatch. That's actually kind of mild. What does it taste like? Crystal Pepsi. It, it tastes like a sweet soda. You know I actually like that better than regular Pepsi. <laughs> oh, that's bizarre. It right? It, it that's just it's just weird. Wait. I know this flavor. Hold on. It tastes like those Necco wafer candies dissolved in Sprite. That's what it tastes like. Crystal Pepsi. Have you that's, dissolved? That's my verdict. Have you dissolved Necco wafers? <laughs> Don't question my past. <laughs> Tune in next week when I question her. No, I'm kidding. Seriously though, this tastes far better than regular Pepsi. This tastes like it's sweeter. It almost tastes fruitier. Despite there not actually being any fruit in it. I'm gonna go ahead and blame the 69 grams of sugar for that. And... It's... It's so weird that I actually like it this much. And it doesn't taste like it's super carbonated either. It's not like... There are some sodas, I'm sure you've opened them up and the fizz just erupts everywhere from being shaken once. Like the super fizzy sodas. This, like, you heard the tss, but then that was it. It wasn't loud, it didn't pop. And even if you look at it now, there's like no bubbles anywhere. It's carbonated, but it's it has hardly any bubbles. So it's a nice, not too carbonated, sweet cola. It's clear, because it did its meditation. I kind of like this. 
I, I kind of like this. I think I found the first soda that I genuinely like. And they're discontinuing it again. <laughs> and then they're not going to make any more of these now. So, uh, I guess I gotta go out and, like, buy as many as I can now. Because I'm never gonna see it again. I think it's weird that I actually don't think it's terrible. I used to hate that candy. The, uh, oh, the Necco wafers. Yeah, this tastes pretty good, though. Yeah. So, uh, Pepsi, good job with the Crystal Pepsi. Why you guys took it away for so long beats the hell out of me. Seriously, this this is actually a genuinely good cola. It's not like your other ones where it was either gimmicky or needed to do something to the formula to make it good. This is just a genuinely good cola. And I like it. I like I like Crystal Pepsi. So I forgot I, how much of a smart ass you are. I <laughs> it's it's been a while. It's been a while since our last episode and again, I'm in transition. You want so, to show them your creepy collection of Crystal Pepsis? No. no. Okay. No, we bought more than one, but... We found them at Target. It was pretty awesome. We did. Tar uh, Target has Crystal Pepsi. At yep. least right now it, it does. You know, and only certain ones. We had to go to a couple. So, if the one nearest you doesn't have it, try another one. Those don't... Excuse me. Those don't have it, try more. It's the idea that y you will find it. We found it. You can find it. Crystal Pepsi. It's genuinely good. You want any more? No, I'm good. Okay. I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually feeling very full because we ate before the episode. Probably not the best idea. But either way, okay, so we had the, the coffees and they were pretty good. The the, the mocha flavor was, was good. It tasted like kind of like chocolate. The vanilla over there, they had the vanilla one. That was good. It tasted very much like vanilla. I actually kind of like that one more than I like this one. And then we had the donuts. And the donuts were very good too. Here, where's the box of the donuts? Here it is. Ah, there we go. Cats gluten free. That's what they were. The cats gluten free. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, you know what? That was pretty good. These old ladies apparently don't fuck around. And this Gavalia likes to maybe kind of fuck around. I love and how Crystal he assumes Pepsi, there's like a legion of old ladies who makes the donuts because the, there's an old lady on the package. There are a le there's a legion <laughs> of old ladies who make those donuts and they make it with mace. <laughs> they don't fuck around. <laughs> so yeah, okay guys, that was, that, cats, was all, that was all pretty good, wasn't cats it? Cats gluten free donuts are, are thug. They're thug donuts. Thug life. They're metal. They're pretty metal. Mace. I mean, but they put fucking mace in the donuts, which is pretty badass. I can't lie about that. That's just that's just pretty badass. So, what are you doing? Are you why are you grabbing the rest of my Crystal Pepsi? She's hoarding my Crystal Pepsi now. Gee, I didn't know you liked it that much. Love you too. So, okay. So now you've seen all the fun stuff. We got to see the Crystal Pepsis. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the episode before she starts attacking me with Pepsi, so... Alright. You guys have a good one, alright?